this great day out there, a great Columbus Day, because we've got some big-time changes on the way, unfortunately. But not so much today. It's nice outside. There's a live look outside of the capital city. Camera's shaking just a little bit. You see some high clouds starting to filter in. But really, a nice day out there, right up near 60 degrees with those west winds at 12 miles an hour, giving you a dupe or a heat index value right there of uh, 59 degrees. So it's not too bad. But if we go about... 100 miles to the west, you can see quite a thick deck of cloud cover out there in the Bowman area, where it's just a little bit different right now with those temperatures at 50 degrees. So that cloud cover really starting to keep temperatures in check a little bit, even though you've got those southwesterly winds at 11 miles an hour. Temperatures right now aren't too bad. Most places, thanks to those southwesterly winds, those temperatures are in the um, upper mid to upper 50s. Still, Elgin is one of the cooler spots. You're at 49 degrees. Mobridge at 60 degrees right now. Look at uh, Crosby and Wolf Point. They're still one of the cooler spots hanging in in the upper 40s. The Turtle Mountains also at 42 degrees. We talked about those winds really starting to pick up an increase in speed right now out of the uh, west and southwest at between 10 and 15 miles an hour. But they are stronger or expected to develop stronger in the southwest. That's why the Weather Service has put the southwestern corner of our, our viewing area under a wind advisory. This goes until 9 o'clock mountain time. If you're in one of these highlighted counties, just a handful of them, you can expect wind gusts to around 50 miles an hour because of our next system that is moving through here relatively quickly. You can see clouds on the increase from west to east here. Skies will become partly to mostly cloudy over the Bismarck area probably over the next 90 minutes or so. And then we'll watch that system. It'll have just enough zest to it to ring out a few scattered showers this afternoon and this evening. Not everybody will see the rain and it'll be fighting some dry air. So what you see here, some of this may not even reach the ground, but you can expect a couple of drops on your windshield. Then we'll get a break before tomorrow night. A more impressive system rolls in with steadier rain. And as that system moves by and colder air wraps around behind it, could get a couple of wet snowflakes popping up toward uh, the Crosby area and toward the international border, but really nothing uh, that will accumulate. 60 degrees today in the capital city with a few afternoon sprinkles. Again, not much of anything, but still those winds will be blowing around to 25 miles an hour. Same thing in the Magic City. Probably also get up to right around 60 degrees as those skies continue to become mostly cloudy. Everybody today, not a bad day. Uh, rising into the upper 50s and lower 60s, close to 70 actually in the Mobridge area. Three-day forecast for Dickinson, a couple of afternoon sprinkles. It did. Looks like a shower just rolled through there right now as the uh, pavement looks a little bit wet. And then more rain for Wednesday, just a high of 49 degrees. That cold air moves in here rather quickly in, in Williston as well. You can see that high of 46 degrees. The extended forecast for the Bismarck area. Temperatures plummeting as we go through the uh, work week. Just highs in the upper or lower 40s, excuse me. We'll probably spend Friday, a good part of Friday in the upper 30s. Same thing in the Magic City, rain developing Tuesday night and into Wednesday. And then temperatures really become late fall-like as we go through the rest of the work week, Josh. All right, thanks, Robert. Now let's take a